Hello everyone, I'm Cheyenne and Lauren is my best friend. She is such an inspiration to everyone that has the honor of meeting her and she touches so many people's lives every day. Now, I've known Lauren since sixth grade and she has always been such a beautiful person inside and out. And I have this one photo that I'd love to show you guys. This is a picture from sixth grade <laughs> that um, she hates, and I told her that I would show to her future husband. So there it is. I like to keep my promises. <laughs> um, I was looking through some inspirational quotes, something sweet, something fun I could say, something that really embodied our friendship, and everything was really cheesy and really nice. But the one quote that I found that I really loved was from Ralph Waldo Emerson, and it says, It is one of the blessings of old friends that you can afford to be stupid with them. <laughs> no, have we been stupid together. I think that is so much better than any cheesy thing about God and love and inspiration and forgiveness. In middle school, Lauren and I, I think we're both going through some hard times both with school and family, and coming to terms with mental um, roadblocks. So I have anxiety, and it's very hard. It was, it was hard figuring out, but Lauren's the kind of person that will stick by you no matter what. She's caring. She's loving. She gives me strength in her kindness and in her innocence. It's something that I didn't see a lot before I met her. And I could poke fun at how she's clumsy and gullible and how she's silly, but truthfully, she's really so strong and such an inspiration. She's intelligent. She's driven. And that's something that I can look up to. Lauren, in high school, I had fallen for another girl. And my family isn't the kind of, my mother isn't the left wing, let's say. So Lauren was someone I could talk to. She, I was comfortable coming to her, and she didn't care. She accepted me no matter what. As long as I'm happy, that's all that matters. And when... Our friend Sam came out as transgender. She, all she cared about was standing up for him. She didn't, she didn't ask questions. She didn't wonder why or how. He decided that he wasn't comfortable being a he anymore. And she said, that's fine. I'll stand by you. Do you want to go shopping? <laughs> and I think that's impressive, especially at such a young age to be so understanding and so caring for the people around you. All she is is love. She emanates love. She, All she wants is kindness and love. And she's a giving person. So one time in, in middle school, I believe, 8th, 7th or 8th grade, we went off to a park and we were having fun. She told me, let's jump this fence where we'll play on this playground. So we went to jump on, over the fence. And I had dropped my phone out of my pocket. I didn't even notice it fell out. And she was like, no problem. I'll go grab it for you. She jumped over the fence and broke her ankle. And that day, we walked back to her house. She walked back on her broken ankle. She wouldn't let me call anyone to pick us up. She wouldn't let me carry her home. She wanted to walk home. So we went home. We baked a cake and watched child's play. And I remember her telling me that she wasn't going to tell her mom. She was just going to wear a boot, like a slipper boot, because she knew it would be too expensive for her family right now. And that is so kind. That is, she didn't care that she was in pain or that she had just broken her ankle. She only cared about her mother's financial stability. Today... I am beyond excited to congratulate her and JJ on their happily ever after. So please join me in raising your glass to toast to the most wonderful girl I know and to many more stupid adventures ahead. 